All right, today we're going to do a quick review of the Roadmax by Trimax Deluxe Blade Runner 4 Hitch Mount Tray Style Four Bicycle Rack. It was $310 on Amazon uh, with prime shipping. It arrived in three days. Uh, it came with the this section and this section separate. They just need to be bolted together for assembly. Uh, that required a six millimeter Allen key that came with it. And I prefer to use a 10 millimeter uh, socket on a driver, but it also comes with this tool which has the 10, 19, and 17 mil uh, wrenches for the other bolts that are on it. Also came with the straps to hold the bike together and the instructions obviously uh, also came with a lock and more straps. We're gonna walk over and take a look at it. So we're going to mount this on the back of uh, my wife's Ford Explorer. I have uh, greased up the uh, input shaft here and I'll show you how I get on the easiest way. It's a little bit heavy, but if you leverage it like this, it's not that bad. Just goes in like that. Then you have your threaded pin. Put that through. Your hitch pin goes through here to lock it in. So that thread's in there, and your hitch pin locks it in. As long as we're over here, let's cover the weight ratings. We have a uh, max load of 15 kgs or 33 pounds. Uh, four bikes at that is 132 pounds. And this thing's robust enough to handle it. Uh, let's check magnet sticks. Magnet sticks, magnet sticks, magnet sticks. So it's all steel construction. These pop up and fold down. They, uh, there's these two uh, pins that go in here. You just do that and you just fold it right down. Now, oddly enough, there's these holes there that I don't know if they're misdrilled or if I'm doing something wrong, but these would, you'd think they'd go in there to lock it in place. They don't, not a big deal though, because you can thread this through here and do that before stowing it away. Um, as far as the straps go, they're non-ratcheting. All you do is get started going through, grab this tab and pull it tight. And let's do a measurement here to see how far out the back it sticks. Let's see. Off the back bumper, we're about 38 and a half inches. So we're going to flip it up now. So all we're gonna do, pull the hitch pin out of the other side, grab this knob, unscrew it, hold it up. If you let it sit all the way in, the holes don't line up. So you have to back it out a little bit, put that in, screw it in, replace the hitch pin. All right, a couple drawbacks I see, um, and it's, I mean, there's really no way around it, but your uh, support beam here is blocking your license plate and may also interfere with uh, any backup camera you may have if you use that. But I'm a man, I use mirrors, so I don't have to worry about that kind of thing. So very quickly, let's just address the way these straps work. So these are the straps that it comes with. What you're gonna do, you're gonna wrap it around. It's gonna go through this part, the little slit right here. And then you're gonna press down on this lever And pull it through. So the way this is designed, you can either go through the hole here or and take it. There's a slit that you can slide it in like that. So it basically wraps around like so and this rubber pad here holds whatever part of your bike you want to support and it slides up and down so you can adjust it to whatever bike you may have on there. So we're going to start by loading, loading up. Obviously you load from the inside outwards. Uh, start with one of my BMX bikes. First thing we're gonna do is move all of our straps out of the way. Set that there. Put that on. Put your strap 
through your wheel, you want to make sure you don't bind up your spokes at all. Put it in, pull it through, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And don't make it too tight off the bat until you get the second one on, so you want it to center itself. Final tightening. Now we're going to take our strap. Going to go through. Dad, what were you talking about? Oh, I'm making a YouTube video, Liz. Just demonstrating how to use the new bike rack. There you go. Tighten right. So one thing you'll notice is that uh, every part that's touching the bike is padded. So you have the rubber cushion here that holds against the tube and this part of the ratchet strap actually wraps around, which is good because you don't have to worry about your uh, strap rubbing and burning your paint off. All right, so I was going to just Put a review up right away but then i decided i should road test this thing for a while and i've had it for about three months now and uh, it's been an absolute tank uh, i've gone over all kinds of terrain off-road down rough jeep trails that kind of stuff and it's held up just fine no structural issues whatsoever um i got four bikes i got the kids some mountain bikes uh and they're pretty heavy because they're low-end bikes so i'd say that's about the weight capacity that the uh rack is meant for and it did just fine. Uh, the only issue, really, um, these straps that hold it on, uh, they're just easily lost. So you have, you have to really be mindful to, when you take the bike off, secure the straps to the rack so they don't go anywhere and you misplace them because they're small. And, you know, with all the chaos that goes with uh, taking a trip, they can uh, easily get lost along with any other small stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's good to go. And the um, I mentioned earlier the, the holes here and why I couldn't figure out... I, it's actually just for putting the, uh, the upright part of the rack at different angles to accommodate different size uh, bicycles and such. So yeah, I, I give us a two thumbs up. I would definitely buy another one if uh, I needed one and recommend it to friends. Cheers. What's up, buddy? Hey. All right, so I wanted to make an uh, addendum to this video. The um, one issue I actually found, I finally uh, got back into mountain biking so my kids are riding now and Pulled out the old Iron Horse 7.3 and it has like 8 inches of suspension travel or something crazy up front. So it sits longer than your typical bike. It also has pretty fat tires on it. Um, I was barely able to get it on there actually to press down really hard to get the uh, just the first notch here to click on, on both sides. And um, I would imagine anything like a fat tire bike or something with a wider tire, uh, that strap would not accommodate. So uh, something for consideration. Um, yeah, I don't know if they make a longer strap for it, but uh, I would say at this point I give it four stars uh, just because of the shorter straps and the inability to hold every bike out there.